Daddy so hard, but you don't know how to fly. Ain't you no good to make you cry? Sky is so high, but you don't know how to fly. Ain't it easier to make you fly? Here we go. ब्रांडी वॉटर means only with eyes when he says i want to see on the rocks it means only the eyes third one is with uh, eyes soda slash water you can take uh, your solid any which okay slash water slash water 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 name nothing put yeah which aerated drinks Aerated drinks. You know what are aerated drinks now? Yes. Carbonated drink. In English there is carbon. We will get the fizz. Carbonated with aerated drink. They they can ask you for anything. Like when the general ones sometimes people ask for like the uh, rum and coke. Yeah. So it's an aerated drink. Or the um, gin and uh, tonic. These are the famous mixes that they ask you for. So that you have to know how to mix it. Okay. Uh, next one. Okay. Uh, food. I'll be doing later with you all. So. Brandy. Brandy. Next. Have 
V S O P written on the on the label. V S O P or V D S O P. It means very a special old pain. Very special old pain. P A N E pain. And the other one is very very special old pain. This denotes the age of the branding. This denotes the age of the brandy. When brandy is made out of grapes, wine is made and it is distilled. You know, when they they heat it and distill it, and the, what they remove from it is the brandy. This brandy is then put in casks and kept in the warehouse. It could be kept in the warehouse for thirty, forty years old. It is kept that long. The longer it is, the more expensive it is because it matures by age. The more mature any liquor is, the more price it is. So when they say very very old pill, uh, it is that bottle does not cost less than five thousand rupees or more probably. It depends on the brand, depends on how many years old it is. The age will be given there, and V S O P will be written on the brand. Okay. You want to add this thing? You can add, huh? Because she is not giving. Is she giving to you? Okay. Indian, um, Indian brandy. We have honey bee. Indian brandy, honey bee. I am giving you example. French was that cognac and Remy Martin. Indian was. Uh, next we come to rum. Okay, the popular ones are French. Yes, yeah, they are expensive. Mm -hmm. expensive. Generally, in first class, the glass yeah. for Cognac yeah. or Remy Martin only. Indian, we don't carry most of the time in first yeah. class. Yeah. But you do get Indian brandies because the Indian brandies are not up to the point. Nowadays, we have started carrying wine, Indian wine, which have which foreigners are liking it. And it's some um, one is Sula, yeah. Sula one is everybody knows. And secondly, there is another uh, vineyard called Grovers. I think their wines are not carried. Their champagnes are also. So next is rum. Right, uh, fermentation of sugarcane juice makes rum. Three examples. Yeah, three examples. First is Old Mon, Indian. Old Mon. Ah, uh, Manu Mena. <laughs> old Mon, Indian. Bacardi. Ma'am, old. Old, old, O N D. Old, like me. Old, old after that, ma'am. Monk. M O N K. M O N K. Old Mon, Indian. Bacardi. Is the foreign one. B A C A R D I Bacardi. Okay, need to know only those two. Next comes the. Uh, Can you repeat it again, ma'am? Yeah. Uh, just repeat the uh, fermentation of sugarcane juice. No, ma'am. That Bacardi you said, right? Bacardi. B A C A R D I Bacardi. Bacardi is from. Uh, Bacardi is from. No idea. Um, I forgot it. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. 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 Okay.
Next we come to Vodka. Originally from Russia and Poland. Russia and Poland. Poland. First off, it is colorless and odorless. Odor is O D O U R L E S S. Odorless means no smell. So colorless and odor odorless. Sorry, I'm speaking out this so that they can hear. It is made by fermentation of grains. Grains. Fermentation of grains. 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 Yes. It can be high heat or chill. Or with drinks, or with aerated drinks. Neat, chill, and with aerated drinks. Examples of vodka. And uh, it can be. It can be high heat, chill, and with aerated drinks. Or. Any beverages? People, a lot of them have it with orange juice. Yeah, orange vodka and orange juice is very famous. Vodka and lime or Sprite is very famous. Huh? Yeah, vodka is only in India, but abroad they do not. On board, they will only ask you with Sprite or with orange juice. Yeah. And what is when like vodka is mixed with orange juice? What is the cocktail called? Yes. Yeah, that's <laughs> good. Huh? So, it's all a screwdriver. Correct. So, if you ask for a screwdriver, don't go hunting for a <laughs> So, what did I give you? Uh, famous Vodkas. Smirnoff. S-M-I-R-N-O-F. Smirnoff. S-M-I-R-N-O-F-F. In India, I think you have absolute A B yeah A B T S O L U T P H D K R S M E. India one is absolute A B S O L U T. There's another famous one nowadays which is on board is called Grey Goose. It is one of the very expensive ones. Grey goose. Goose. G O O S E. Come to gin. A spirit made from juniper. Berries. It's a particular berry grown on a tree. It's called juniper. J U N I P E R. <coughs> juniper berries <coughs> originated from Holland. It served as mixed drink. Like gin and tonic. Like gin and tonic. Mm -hmm. Examples. I'll give you the foreign ones and the Indian one. Indian one is blue ribbon. Blue ribbon. R I B A N D. Yeah. Blue ribbon. N D. Blue ribbon is Indian. The most famous in the foreign origin is beet eaters. <coughs> Sorry. Beet eaters. B E E F. And another one, Gordon. G O R D O N S. These are the two famous ones. Beet eaters and Gordon. 
and he teaches us a brand name okay and gordons is a different thing it's a one word be features next we come to tequila a spirit made from distillation of the sap sap is the juice of the mescal plant and spell it m e s c a l mescal plant it's a type of cactus of the sap of, of the sap of the mescal plant m e s c a l it is a type of cactus the mescal plant is a type of cactus and um, mostly you would see it in mexico originated in mexico the tequila can be drunk straight as shot or the most famous drink is margarita in which they the most most like drink abroad is margarita so they mix tequila and other things in it and they give you they give you frozen margaritas normal margaritas strawberry margaritas uh, lime the regular one is lime margarita but they give you flavored margaritas also so right famous drink mar margarita m a r g a r i t a क्षमा जल गई बाहर खाने चलेगा ना ये चले Slight bitter taste and color. The hops give the beer bitter taste and color. Okay. Examples: Budweiser, B U D, B U D, W E I S E R, Dash U S E. Heineken, H E I N E 
K E N Holland Holland Dex D E C K S German D E C K S Dex German Fosters Australia F O S T E R S Tiger slash Singha Tiger slash Singha S I N G H A Southeast Asia Singapore Hong Kong side you get this zero mainly Tiger Singha Kingfisher India yeah yeah Corona beer in that beer is drunk in a different way there's a narrow bottle like that you put a lime in it and
play as it is from the bottle. No mixing of any in that. Okay. What is the next topic we come to? Ma'am, you said one point, right? Uh, before meal and after meal. What is that, ma'am? Liquors and liquors. Liquors are strong drinks like whiskey, gin, vodka, which has had before your meal. Okay, ma'am. Liquors are drinks which are sweetened, as I told you, and infused with herbs, coffee, and all flavored drinks. Which is had after a meal. You But you said it's meat. hot to digest, right, ma'am? Sorry. Hot to digest, right? Liquors. It is more to digest. Yeah, it's like a digestive, like people have after a meal. Okay, okay. Okay, it's called liquor, not liquor. Now, let's go to We do that when we do the wines. Anything else has been with champagne? We do only with the wine. Okay. This um, cocktails, how to mix them? I'm not teaching you. You have to learn, or you have to keep a book handy. As um, they give you a book with all the with the dealer. Regular cocktails. See, you cannot do all cocktails on board because you have limited space, limited items, limited things. You may not get the ingredients like shaker and all may not be there. So all we do is like the common one, gin tonic. Yeah, like you have screwdriver, orange juice, and vodka. We can manage that. So not too many things we can do, but regular ones will be uh, bloody mary and screwdriver. These are the general ones that they ask for. In Delhi, there is also a lot of mixing is required, but you get ready-made things on board. With all you have to do is take one pan, add the fill, and it's done. You don't have to keep mixing the ingredients. It's already pre-mixed is there. So those are the things, and you don't have to do it. Um, so it will go to rice, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, come, 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 Wine is probably the most popular alcoholic beverage in the world along with milk. It is the only beverage after water that can be served alongside practically all meals and their sources. Wine is obtained from the fermentation of the juice of different varieties of grapes. This fermentation process varies, varies from country to country, region to region, and also ambiguous local customs and traditions. Imbibes. Local customs and traditions. All these factors together give each wine its distinct flavor, taste, and color. Hmm. Okay. Basically, we have two types of wines. Wines are uh, made from grapes. Not every place can make grapes. Grapes have to have to get the best quality of grapes. We have to have certain type of temperature in the in that place. It can't be too hot. It can't be too cold. There can't be too much of rain. There can't be all these things are they going into the making of grapes. So mostly, if you would see in India, the ideal place is Nashik, where Azula wines are. Because it's not too hot, not too cold. They have the right soil. It has to have the right soil. You have these in plants. If you go, there are vineyards and vineyards and vineyards, huge vineyards with a particular person, a house, a person living there and making that wine. Those are called house wines, and the name of that house is always on the bottle. Which house has made it? There are some very famous. Houses, so they know from the bottle exactly who has made the wine. 
how the vine is made the vine is the grapes are collected they are crushed their seeds inside are crushed the seeds lend the color and the color the the pits they are called pits and the the cover that lends the color to the wine it's crushed left to ferment and then another process takes place and then they go we see the wine process tomorrow here and it goes white wines are made from green grapes and red wine is made from red grapes again you know, there are certain years where they have the best weather and they have the best crop of wine the wine that you made at the time of the best year and the best crop is called a vintage wine vintage wines are very very expensive because it is the best produce that has come it is matured for a long time so always the wine drinkers will know the vintage year when the wines are made if they make or they have a study of the wine so they know exactly when the wine was made and uh, from the vintage year bottles the price will go up but generally there are the french are supposed to be the best in making wine they also drink wine with every course of meal different different wines so we serve different wines on board so we have to know where the wine is from if you have question you have to know the year of the wine who the there are two types of main wines called burgundy and bordeaux generally you know the shape from the shape of the bottle you know the uh, the bordeaux wine one will be like this and one will be slow So Burgundy and Bordeaux are like that. There is a particular way of serving wines. We serve white wines chilled, and we serve red wines at room temperature. Then we have another product of wine of grapes called Champagne. Champagne is again another procedure for making the Champagne. A lot of procedure goes into it. It was developed by a monk staying in one of the monasteries there, and then the cork. If you see the champagne bottle when it's open, it just goes like that, and so after. So the top is made of a special material, and it is put in a special way. It has a wire on top of it, so that it doesn't pop. When you open the champagne, there is a way to open the champagne. What you see in the movies, then throwing that champagne that is because of victory or whatever, that is different. You know, half the bottle is gone. But when you serve on board, you cannot do that. You cannot shake the bottle. You will have a bath. Everybody will have it. It's a very, uh, it's a different way. You have to hold the cork, open the wire, and open it very carefully. It pops. Oh, you know, it gives a sound when you remove that cork. Uh, oh, yeah. Again, champagnes very, very expensive. Champagnes are. It has a fizz in it. It's like a wine with a fizz in it. It's also called sparkling wine sometimes. So champagnes also will be served. Um, so we we'll write a little about the wines today. We got the wrong one. What is she doing on me? Okay. Classification of wines. Wines are classified into four types. Number one, natural wines slash table wines. Natural or table wines. Four types of wines are made. Number one is natural or table wines. Number two, sparkling wines. Number three, fortified wines. Fortified. F O R T I F I E D. 
Fortified means made strong. Strong one. <coughs> Fortified wines. <coughs> and last, aromatized wines. A R O M A T I S E D. What is the meaning of aromatized wines? It's in anything that has an aroma, a smell, like fruity or sour or something. Okay. Um, So write the legal line and write natural lines, natural lines. These are commonly called table lines. And are primarily meant as accompaniment to food. Meant as an accompaniment to food. This is from it's had with the food. Table wines are generally categorized as white wines or red wines. Are Categorized as red wines or white wines. They contain fourteen percent alcohol or less. They contain fourteen percent alcohol or less. After generally categorized, yeah, categorized, categorized as red wines or white wines, and they contain fourteen percent. Alcohol, all this. Next are sparkling wine. Sparkling wine. Okay, one four, one four, one four. One four. One four. Two four. Party day is sticky. <laughs> Sparkling wines. These are the. I'll spell the word for you. E F F P R B E S C E N T C E N T. A thousand. A thousand is when you open your book. One more thing. Yes. The gas is out. And the small bubbles come up, right? That is called effervescence. It's the the bubbles that come. So that's the right word for the bubbles which come when you have your champagne or when you have your sparkling wine or when you have your. So these are effervescent in the brackets bubbly wines. Wine. All sparkling wine. Are artificially gassed. Artificially gassed. G S S E D. In the brackets, like C O two, carbon dioxide. Artificially gassed. The only exception being champagne. In the brackets, C O two. C O two. The only exception being champagne. In champagne, is not artificially gassed. It it comes on its own. Exception being champagne means champagne is not artificially gas. Again, contain fourteen percent or less alcohol. Fourteen percent or less. Next up, five wines. <laughs> These are wines which are strengthened, spelling S T R 
M E N G T H E N E D. Strengthened by the addition of alcohol. Generally, great brandy. Fortified wines contain sixteen to twenty percent, four percent alcohol. Twenty-four percent alcohol. Sixteen. Because it's good. Sixty to twenty-four. Uh, two most famous fortified wines. I'll give you the name. One is port wine. You heard of port wine? Yes, ma'am. Comes from Portugal. Port. You know, port comes from Portugal, and sherry comes from Spain. Both are fortified wines. Sherry, sherry, S H E R R Y. Sherry comes from Spain. Uh, port wine comes from Portugal. That's why it's port because it's Portugal. Sherry comes from Spain. Spain. Next comes aromatized wines. A R O M E. P I S E D aromatized wines, wines which have been flavored with herbs from plants, bark of wood, plants, barks of wood, and barks of wood, barks of wood का जो छिलका रहता है बाप सो बोल फ्लेवर के ऑफ प्लांट्स बाक्स ऑफ वुड एंड अदर फ्लेवरिंग एजेंट एरोमेटाइज वाइंस कंटेन 15 टू 20 परसेंट अल्कोहल अदर फ्लेवरिंग एजेंट्स Fifteen to twenty percent alcohol. Famous ones are dry martini. Famous ones are dry martini. I know. And fifteen to twenty. Famous ones are dry martini and vermouth. V e r m o u t h. It's not vermouth. It's vermouth. V e r m o u t h. बेटर नेक्स्ट हेडिंग सर्विंग ऑफ वाइन व्हाइट वाइन शुड बी सर्व चिल्ड शुड बी सर्व चिल्ड एंड विथ एन एपकिन Folded on the bottle in a figure of eight. Eight. I'll explain to you. Eight. Yeah, eight. I'll explain to you. Give me that bottle. Anybody else? Which of the fifteen? Number fifteen. Napkin. Napkin. I don't know whether my online students can see. Give to me now. Give to me now. Hey, generally you make a napkin like this. 
should be held under the bottle and used to wipe away the last drop after pouring the wine wine glasses next time should always be served a uh, wine should be served in wine glasses only I'm 
just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Huh? I'm dead. I don't miss this. I'm dead. I don't miss this. Come on, fine. Come on, come on. Yeah. How many are there? How many are there? How many are there? Three. Eighteen. 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 Eighteen
Vimon Vimon His name is Dom D-O-M Second word is Perignon P-E-R-I-G P-E-R-I-G N-O-N It is credited with the making of champagne Credited with the invention of champagne Dom Perignon itself is a name of a champagne which is very expensive. Also, Dom, Dom, when they say Dom champagne, it means one of the most expensive champagne. So, Dom Perignon is one of the champagne names. And made from the grapes grown in the Champagne district. Champagne is made from the grapes grown in the Champagne district of France. The Champagne district grapes grown in the Champagne district of France. You do uh, know the difference between cocktail and mocktail, I hope. Yeah, tell me. Cocktail and mocktail. Ma'am, I don't know, ma'am. I don't know. Mocktails are mixed drinks without alcohol, and cocktails are mixed drinks with alcohol. Okay? So you have to know that. Are uh, these. Important ones are in what you would you what you would make on flight are gin and tonic, Mary Mary, whiskey sal, champagne cocktail, rum and coke. That's all. The other things more than sugar. Other things. Mary has not made on board. Hmm. Very good. Then our crew will be drunk. <laughs> okay, next we have given you museums of the world. Um, <laughs> no, we don't have language. <laughs> Give you bitters. Write bitter ones down. Bitters. Bitters. B I T T E R S. Bitters. A liquor. Generally, spirituous, S P R I T, spirit and U O U S. Spirit ke baad bhi the U O S. Spirituous liquor means it 
enhanced spirit liquor mixed with flavoring ingredients commonly including bitters जस्ट राइट लिखर जनरली स्पिरिट इज आफ्टर दैट यू कैंसिल आई एम मेर मिस्टेक सॉरी लिखर जनरली स्पिरिट इज इन विच बेटा हम First time you sing it. First time you sing it. All spirit, right? All spirit, simply. In which a bit of her leaf or root has been macerated, means pounded like that. M a s c e r a t e d. macerated used as a milk tonic milk tonic or stimulant to increase appetite and improve digestion appetite and improve digestion Two types of bitters. The most famous one, Angostura bitters. A N G O S A N G O S T E U R A. Angostura bitters. A N G O S B U R A. Angostura bitters. And the second one is orange bitters. It comes in a small bottle. Most of it is added to your cocktails to give you a special flavor. It's bitter, 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 and but still it is good. So many people like to have it like that. Yeah. So let's finish the liquor part of it for the time being. And so uh, I need to do some notes on the food part of it. But uh, what is she giving you on the? Uh, Did I give you on salads and breads yesterday? No, no. Salads are given, breads are given to everybody. No, no, no. Salads, breads are given, salads are given. Let's tell you. Salads. Salads are given. डेफिनेशन ऑफ कैनफेज Odors का definition दिया है। Yeah. How do you know? Cannabis has appetizing features of the drink. You have that? If you don't have it, right? If you have, don't try. Then I'll do a cheese with you on it. Cannabis, uh, right? Right ahead in food. Ah, food and cheese. First, the definition of canapes. Canapes are appetizers. C a n a p e s are appetizers which are served with drinks. They are supposed to stimulate the appetite. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-
They are supposed to stimulate the appetite. 